Welcome to Inside Science TV. With Olympic swimming events taking center stage, mechanical engineers in Baltimore, the birthplace of U.S. gold medalist Michael Phelps, have been studying elite swimmers to understand what makes them so fast. For years, there's been a debate over which two arm strokes are better for speed, the deep catch or sculling. What we found out was that, first of all, the deep catch is a more effective stroke. It does produce more overall thrust than an equivalent sculling stroke. The deep catch is like a paddle on a boat. The arm pulls straight through the water. In sculling, the arm is bent at the elbow and moves in an S-shaped curve through the water. The engineers used images and underwater video to compare both styles. We were interested in understanding um, the the underlying flow physics behind these two strokes. The researchers learned that the sculling motion reduces both the lift and drag forces that contribute to thrusting the swimmer forward through the water. The deep catch relies on drag-based propulsion, meaning the swimmer draws water back and water draws him forward faster. A swimmer who is using the deep catch will be able to produce more thrust from the same amount of arm motion. The key is how much force can you produce during the time when your arm is underwater. Starting young swimmers out early with the deep catch may help them become better swimmers later on. And what does Michael Phelps do? I've been told that Phelps uses uh, a deep catch, except there are some elements of sculling in there too. The science of swimming with a catch. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.